I thought summer had passed us by, but just as the schools go back, the weather becomes absolutely baking hot. Just look at that. This is my favourite. <gasps> Evening sun. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I have had a bit of a disaster in this bed though. All of my tomatoes have got blight. Very sad looking. Last year I had a bumper crop of outdoor tomatoes. But because we had such a wet month in July this year, the blight came in and it's got all of them. And to make it even worse, I didn't even grow any in the greenhouse this year. So there's no backup. No homegrown tomatoes for me this summer. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a little poke around in the bottom there. I'm going to have to remove all the tomatoes and bag them up. Or dispose of them in the rubbish but down there there should be some elephant garlic and there should be some leeks hiding in the back so I'll get on to that now and I'll uh, let you know what I find The offending tomatoes with blights have been bagged up, leaving an empty space in what was meant to be a veg bed, but it's completely full of cannas and dahlias and sunflowers. I did find the elephant garlic in there, but it's not very impressive. <laughs> Look what's happened to my beautiful pumpkin. That was okay yesterday. It's completely split. Have you ever seen that? It usually does that when it gets too much water, but we've just had a lot of sun. Oh, what a shame. Oh dear. These have been going strong though, my French beans. Even if they did get knocked down twice in two separate storms, I prop them back up again and they've continued to grow. This has been my best year of French beans. Normally the slugs get them. But they've been brilliant, so tasty and they just keep on cropping. I'm definitely going to do those again.